Alrighty. Um, so I'm here to help a little bit with the homework that you had last night. And it looks like this. We were very explicit about the things that needed to happen for each question, and that goes for the front page, okay, all the way down to number 10. And then on the back, because there are uh, word problems, we're just asking that you use a formula like you normally would, and then answer these. Okay, so now look at number seven. Seven says a water feature at a miniature golf course is a square pyramid. Okay, the only thing I care about is square pyramid. That tells me that I know each side is going to be the same. It said whose base is five feet on each side. There's not a picture already drawn, so I'm going to go ahead and draw one to remind myself that it is a square. And yes, all sides would measure five. And it says the height of the pyramid is 10. So I'm just going to put height is 10. And I'm going to draw myself a little triangle here to tell me that the height there is for this and not for my base. And then it says how much water will it take to fill the pyramid? So fill means volume and it is a pyramid. All right, so moving on to my separate sheet of paper, we'll have number seven. Uh, letter A says I'm going to name the shape of the base. It's a square. Part B says I'm going to write the formula, right? This is what I'm looking at. Okay. Write the formula for big B. So that would be big B equals base times height. Uh, then it says to find the area of my base. I'm plugging in numbers. This is 5 times 5, which is 25. And this is area, so it's inches. Is it inches? No, it's feet. But it's feet squared. So that's part of it. Okay, the area of my base, 25. If I go back to my picture, that's what this is equal to. Then it still wants volume. Okay, in the next step it says the height of my prism. Height, and it should actually say height of pyramid. Height of my pyramid is equal to 10. I know that because I wrote that earlier. 10 feet. And it says write the formula for volume. So I'm looking for the volume of a pyramid. I refer to my chart. My chart says volume equals one-third capital BH. I also have that foldable in my journal that's really helpful. Let's plug in. Big B we said was 25. Height we said was 10. So none of these is easily divided by 3. Um, so you guys are using calculators so easily I'm just going to say well let's just do it all together. Uh, remember if you forgot alpha which is a green button, y equals, gives me my fraction button. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, pick the first one. I've got one on the bottom, three on the, I'm sorry, one on top, three on the bottom. I don't know where that zero came from, I'll delete that. I'm multiplying that by 25 and then multiplying by 10. That looks exactly like what it is on my paper. Enter. Ooh, I got 250 over 3. If I push enter again, let's see if it fixes it for me. Nope. Man. Go to math. Oh, let's go to mode. Let's see what's wrong with my mode. Let's go with my answers are going to be mixed numbers. Let's see if that works out. Everything else I think is good. So second move, quit, enter. Okay, 83 and one third. 83 and one third. You may have also gotten a decimal that said 83.333 on and on and on. That would just mean it's 83.3 with the repeating bar. What are my units? Feet cubed. All right. 